We are live. Hopefully the Wi-Fi will hold up because they're uh, out here working on lines. Got that charter truck out there. Oh, he's gone. They must have got it fixed. <sighs> Wait just a minute. Let some folks come on the video here. What's up, Clips? <laughs> hey, look at there. What's up? He likes Santa Claus. Bringing Titan reels down from the attic. So, last night, scrolling through Facebook, you know, as is my custom, trying to wind down for the evening. And uh, if there's one thing that I know when I see it, it's my before and after photos. You show me a picture of my kids, may recognize them, may not. Uh, but my before and after photos, I, I got like photographic memory with that stuff. So, I'm scrolling and a fellow contractor dude who's an industry guy, he's a YouTube guy. I'm not gonna call his name just yet. Uh, waiting to see what he says. He's got a picture of one of our roof cleanings from like, that's a while back. A couple years ago. A couple years ago, over on uh, the lake over here with his watermark on it. And he's like, staying busy, uh, so thankful to be washing. And he's got four or five photos and one of them is that photo. And uh, I said, Hold up a minute. Hold up a minute, Steve. So uh, I screenshotted everything and I sent him a message and I said, hey, what's up, man? Why are you using my, my picture here? And especially putting a watermark on it. So this morning he wrote me back and he said, which one? I've got lots of photos and I just recycle them. So I'm waiting to see how the conversation goes before I uh, <laughs> blast him, but it's probably not, it's not looking good. So today I'm doing a little bit more digging and I go to Google and there's a photo on Google that he got off of our Facebook page, which was actually one of our guys that bought a skid about five weeks ago, four or five weeks ago, and uh, did a really nasty vinyl siding job. And it was so bad that I screenshotted it and I shared it to Southeast Softwash Facebook page and I tagged the guy, the, our, our guy that bought the skid, and I said, hey guys, look what one of our skid dudes, it's Mr. John Conley, I said, hey, check out this, he washed this yesterday, and uh, man, it was nasty vinyl. Well, he's got that photo on his Google listing. So I just screenshotted him that, and I sent it to him on Messenger. He's not looking at the messages. He could be busy out washing. Or taking I, pictures of him. Or, or stealing more photos from, uh, from guys' Facebook pages. So. He's, uh, I sent him a text as well. He hasn't responded to that yet either, but it's only been a couple minutes. So I'm gonna be uh, nice, but if I don't hear something, now I already know how this is gonna go. It's not gonna go well because you're saying, well, which, pic which picture is it? We've got hundreds of pictures. No, you don't have hundreds of pictures. No. You've got a lot of pictures you screenshotted from other dudes' pages. You know good and well that you didn't clean that roof you know good and well that you screenshotted it and dropped your watermark on there. So there's a couple problems here. My hands got paint all over them. Number one is you're trying to sell yourself as this industry guy and you got all these followers and you're out here uh, hustling and grinding and watching all this stuff. <clears throat> False because out of your, your five photos, we know at least one of them was from us from two years ago, several states away from you. So you don't have hundreds of pictures. You've got a stolen couple of, fic of pictures, and that's not cool. Um, so that's number one, is you're being dishonest to your, your followers. It's a crappy time right now, and be honest. I'm not trying to get on here and act like we're crushing it. We ain't had no equipment sales except one in the last three weeks. It sucks, because we build equipment. That's what we do. We wash, we build equipment. Um, so that's number one. Number two is don't steal guys' photos, especially don't steal guys' photos with a platform. Like, now, now you messed up. Now you have messed up. So tonight, I will reveal who this jackass is. Um, his initials are Ben Hill. Oh, I said it, didn't I? I just went ahead and put that out there. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this a little bit more later. Not cool, guys. Don't steal photos. My God, why would you steal photos and put your watermark on there? You That's, camera. Ain't y'all got a camera? Use your own camera. Hey, we've got a couple photos on our... Um, my arm's hurting. We've got a couple photos in our classroom presentation that are not mine. 
But I said, hey, can I use this photo? Because it's like efflorescence and I didn't have a really good picture of that. But we literally only use it in the classroom. I don't put it on the internet. I don't advertise it that I did it. 98% of them photos in the class are our photos. I got a lot of photos. Um, but I don't tout, I, make, I usually try to make a point to say, there's a couple in here that ain't mine, but most of these are our photos. If you need a photo or if you just like a photo, how about messaging somebody and saying, hey, that's a really good pic. Would you mind if I use that? You know what I would have said? No, that's what I would have said. But you could have asked and got to know because we give those photos as a courtesy to the guys that take our training class and buy our equipment. And it's not right for those guys to buy one of these or one of those and spend thousands of dollars and get photos for their usage as part of their package, their training equipment package, and then this, this fool's over here just screenshot and dropping watermarks. It, the watermark's what's pissing yeah. me off. I understand you might find one on Google. I checked. That photo is not on Google Images, so he literally got it off our website or off our Facebook page. That's the only mm -hmm. two places that one is. And then the nasty vinyl side one, that's only been up three weeks. Yeah. So he grabbed it and put it on his Google page. Now you messed up, okay? So I'm going to burn that bridge pretty quick, and we're going to smoke you. Because you shouldn't do that. That's, that's shady, bro. That's shady. Why are you going to do that? That's stupid. Guess I'm going to go to your page and screenshot about 50 photos and start telling my customers that these are my jobs. That's dishonest on that, that relationship. And it's dishonest in this this industry. Same dude also stole, uh, you know, wash on. Yeah. That's Carlos's thing. Carlos been saying that for years. Now, granted, he didn't copyright it, but everybody know that was Carlos's little thing. Start putting it on shirts and hats and stuff and selling it. Okay, you know, gray area, kind of shady, kind of, kind of, mm, not not cool. So, uh, hope you see this video, Ben. Uh, consider yourself on notice because uh, you'll be pulling those photos down. And if you don't pull those photos down, you'll be getting some paperwork from a lawyer. So y'all go to Ben Hill's page, uh, go to his Google page, go to his Facebook page, and see he may have some of your photos. There's several other ones on there where he's cropped his ugly head in front of the, the house. And I'm pretty sure that those were not his jobs either because it looked like not their area that they work in. And then he's got his picture and his, and his face over it. So... You know, I don't like drama. I try not. I try to avoid it, but that pisses me off. You work really hard for this stuff, and all you had to do was ask. And if you got a yes, use it. If you got a no, don't use it. But but don't do this crap, guys. Don't be like that. Don't think because you got seven thousand subscribers on YouTube, you just do whatever you want to. You know, it's not cool. So, yeah, we'll talk about it some more tonight. Hope y'all have a productive. What today is? I don't, Wednesday. We don't know what today. Wednesday. We're gonna get back to building and. Uh, I'm going to keep looking, see if I got any more. Yeah, Ben Hill from WNC Wash Pros. The word pros is used real loosely there. Uh, WNC uh, Wash Amateurs or Wash, you know, I'm sure he does a good job, but it's pretty dirty. And it's real stupid, too. Like, I'm not going to see my picture. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got hundreds of photos, and I just recycle them. No, no you don't. You've got a bunch of stolen photos, and, uh, and you're recycling those. So, you know what you did. You know good and well that you didn't wash that roof and you put that image on there. So unless I hear back from Ben and he says, hey, I pay a guy to do my marketing and I, I didn't know he was using those photos. Okay, if that, if I hear back, then I owe him an apology. But he needs to get on his marketing guy and that guy will need to get his butt roasted. But I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure Ben uh, does all that stuff himself from what he said in the past. So anyway, we'll let y'all go. Peace out.